Look at a single tree. You see leaves, bark and branches. But there's more. Zoom in closer. Tiny insects crawl on the leaves. A squirrel finds shelter in its branches. Life is everywhere, connected in a delicate balance. From the smallest bacteria to the largest whale. All living things are part of a grand, interconnected system. This is the story of ecological organisation. A journey from tiny individuals to the vast biosphere. Understanding this organisation is crucial. Our planet's health and our own survival depends on it. Every living thing, from a blade of grass to a soaring eagle, is an individual organism. Each has a unique role to play. Plants using sunlight turn air and water into energy. Animals eat plants or other animals using the energy stored within. Fungi decompose dead matter, returning nutrients to the soil. These processes, essential for life, occur within each individual. Each organism interacts with its environment, taking in resources and releasing waste. This constant exchange is the foundation of ecological organization. A group of individuals of the same species living together forms a population. Think of a school of fish or a herd of elephants. Within a population, individuals compete for resources like food, water and mates. This competition can be intense, driving natural selection and evolution. But cooperation exists too. Wolves hunt in packs, increasing their success. Bees work together in a hive, ensuring the colony's survival. Population dynamics, the ebb and flow of individuals, shape the balance of nature. Different populations interacting within a specific area form a community. These interactions are complex and varied. Predator-prey relationships, like the cheetah chasing a gazelle, are a classic example. Symbiosis, where different species live together in close association, is another fascinating interaction. The clownfish and the sea anemone exemplify this, each benefiting from the other's presence. Understanding these relationships reveals the intricate web of life that sustains communities. Expand our view further and we encounter ecosystems. These are dynamic systems where communities interact with their physical environment. Forests, grasslands and oceans are all examples. Energy flows through ecosystems, from the sun to plants, then to herbivores and finally to carnivores. Decomposers break down dead matter, returning nutrients to the soil, completing the cycle. This constant flow of energy and nutrients is the lifeblood of an ecosystem. Finally, we reach the biosphere, the sum of all ecosystems on Earth. It's a thin layer of life, a fragile bubble encompassing our planet. From the highest mountains to the deepest oceans, life persists interconnected and interdependent. Yet this delicate balance is threatened. Human activities like deforestation, pollution and climate change are disrupting ecological organization at every level. The consequences are already being felt from collapsing fisheries to disappearing species. We are part of this web of life, not separate from it. Our actions have far-reaching consequences.